Hello, today I'm going to briefly explain how to change the maximum velocity in uh, position operating mode for Dynamixel XL430 uh, servo motors. The assumption is that we are communicating over TTL or RS485 uh, with our servo motors using uh, this Arduino shield and uh, this movie will concern changing the speed uh, with the use of Arduino ID. Okay, so now let's switch into the code. Okay, before well, looking at the um, Arduino code directly, first l let's talk about the, uh, the way we would like to change the maximum speed in position mode. Uh, so the specification of Dynamixel to Arduino shield um, from Robotis uh, provide us with the re uh, right control table item method, which we are going to use. And this method is to is used normally to uh, set values that are stored in control table area, which is the memory area uh, of the of the Dynamixel servo motor. And this area consists of two parts. One is EEPROM area, which is uh, persisted uh, even we are not powering the, uh, we, if, even though we are not supplying the voltage to the uh, to the servo motor. And there is also a random access memory area, which is um, which is uh, reinitialized to factory settings every time we are uh, turning on a servo motor again. So uh, the profile velocity property, which we are interested in, belongs to the area called uh, random access memory area. So here is the profile velocity setting, which we are going to use to change the uh, operating speed in position mode um, for our Dynamixel servo motor. Um, now let's switch to the... Um, to the specification of the XL430 uh, servo motor. Here we have the something called velocity limit, which we are which I am using, and velocity rim limit is in range of zero to one point uh, um, oh two three. Uh, so here is the range of the of the velocity. Uh, so the maximum is one thousand to uh, 1,023, yeah? And the unit for this value is a revolution per minute. So uh, actually it is a fraction of the revolution per, mi per minute. So we need to use this value as a constant when we are going to calculate the desired uh, speed. Um, okay. Uh, here is the let's let's switch to the um, to to the my method which I'm using. So here is the set speed method which accepts the percentage value of speed. So for example, uh, if I'm going to use just ten percent of the maximum speed, I am passing the, the value of ten here. If I use want to use the maximum speed, then I am passing here one hundred. Okay, here, here are some constants that we are going to use for our calculation. First is velocity limit, which is uh, 1,023. Uh, the second one is a velocity unit, which is a fraction of revolution per, per minute. And uh, here I'm calculating the maximum dynamic cell speed, which, is achievable, uh, which can be achieved for this particular model. And uh, this is done by just multiplying those two constants. And then I am calculating the desired, desired speed, which is called new speed uh, RPM, uh, just by multiplying the percentage value passed by the, by, by the user or program uh, by, the, by the maximum dynamic cell speed and then div dividing it by 100. Uh, Thanks to it, I am achieving the desired speed in in this velocity unit, uh, which I am able to pass to the right control table item method along with the 
profile velocity uh, identifier of the of the property which I am going to change. Apart from this, I'm also using the right timeout, which is set for 100 millisecond. I don't know whether it's needed. Maybe we could just skip this. Uh, and this is basically it. Uh, the shield object is defined uh, as dynamic cell shield from the from the library. And um, uh, after this, um, we end up with the effect that uh, the, the change the, the the speed is changed yeah um, there are of course different operating modes if you are using a, a velocity mode which is preferred for uh, continuous um, revolution in uh, in like uh, um, riding units riding robots then we need to use the goal velocity uh, property here uh, but the unit of goal velocity is also the same. This is the fraction of revolution per minute uh, as it is described in the documentation here. Uh, so if I switch to goal velocity. You can see uh, that it also requires the uh, fraction of RPM as a unit while we are setting it to the right control table item and this is basically it so uh, give it a try and uh, feel free to leave some comment in there maybe uh, maybe there is another way to change the 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 velocity during position mode as far as i can tell there is no need to uh, turn off the torque while we are changing the velocity for the uh, for the uh, servo motor. Uh, yeah, this is my experience. So thank you for now and see you next time.